Recently, we posted a photograph of a rather perplexing megalithic ruin, now known as the White Rock of Vilcambaba, or Nusta Hispana, shared within a community post on the channel's main page. The image predictably caused a lot of bafflement within our community, thusly, we took it upon ourselves to dig a little deeper into what the true purpose of this monument could have once been. What we found not only answered this question, but has seemingly unraveled the original purpose of countless stone anomalies, and possibly answered one of the most critical issues of all. How were these megalithic walls of seemingly impossible, randomly cut polygonal masonry once constructed? There are countless finished sites of not only polygonal stonework, but simple yet incredible stable brick course blocks some far exceeding 1,000 tons. Thus, it is not absurd to presume, like the trilithon, they were still cut, quarried, moved and lifted into place, somehow with incredible precision. How these blocks interlink was another mystery, which we feel Nusta Hispana and now many other sites and their enigmatic abandoned blocks, often seemingly being mistaken for chairs, are the answer for how these polygonal walls were built, a secret hidden in plain sight for all these years. With Nusta Hispana of Vilcambaba strangely seemingly unlocking this secret for us. All around the megalith lay finished stones ready for transportation, while the odd patterning still found upon the original bedrock are interlocking joints, which we have seen in a number of other locations and near polygonal areas themselves. Yet the Nusta Hispana megaliths cuts along with that of the now broken Naupa Iglesia found near Olente Tambo share the same unfinished carvings and once enigmatic protuberances seemingly abandoned suddenly, just like that of Nusta Hispana. Yet, thankfully, the carving patterns are indicative of so many other ruins we have found on location. It is seemingly unraveling the mystery and answering the question of what these mysterious cuts were for and what resulted from them. These seemingly random-shaped blocks were anything but. They were cut from their bedrock quarries, not only with incredible accuracy, but with unbelievable future insight, always taking into consideration the interlocking mechanism of every block that would later become the seemingly unbroken, impenetrable form of the world's polygonal constructions. Like that of the stone of the pregnant woman found within Baalbek, claimed as abandoned, firstly as it weighed over 1,000 tons and due to a slight incline, yet mere meters away the trilithon, which lay aloft with blocks placed atop others, each weighing thousands of tons. When excavated, the stone of the pregnant woman is just another gargantuan structural ruin. Blocks mistaken by tourists and natives alike for millennia as mere chairs were anything but. They were precision-made stones, walls designed to last the eons, possibly to leave a message to following generations, or possibly it is just a demonstration of these lost civilizations' past capabilities when it came to an advanced Stone Age. It is an ongoing mystery and answers to questions we have searched for years, which we find the most accurately fitting to date and thus highly compelling.